Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's the Siobhan Monroe Show, and today we're doing NBA Young Boy The Takeover Bayton Rogue Effect, Effect the series part one. So let's get into it. Part one, part one, <laughs> let's get it. Up. Subscribe for more and turn on notifications. Y'all better do that. We love y'all. No longer under New Orleans shadow, Baton Rouge has risen as its own entity, standing on its own principles, street laws, and rap wars. The rise and success of Boosie Badass and several other rappers has opened the floodgate for inspiring artists coming out of Baton Rouge, many of which flowed through, but only a few stood out. And the real G-Money yeah. made himself easy to notice. Flexing and finessing, bitch, I'm jugging in your section. Serve it to you raw, but I can't come without my weapon. Now, don't fuck with too many, I run with the same niggas. Squad. Try to throw a cross and I'm busting your Brain. Garrett Burton, better known to the world as the real G Money, was yeah, high up on the food chain of rappers making a name for themselves in Baton Rouge and surrounding areas, as well as striking a buzz on the national level as an artist to keep an eye on. He was a trendsetter and an aggressive hustler that was living the life of an industry player, but without a deal. Unfortunately, he shared the same lane with three of the hungry Baton Rouge natives that were all headed for the same number one spot. Tech Luciano, Main Music, and NBA Youngboy. All hustlers all from the same city playing the same game, but unless they wore a group, they couldn't all stand in the number one slot. Nigga caught my phone and say he got it on my head. His money must be counterfeit, cause I ain't dead J. That shit don't be real when they be saying, nigga, fuck you, I fuck. That shit don't be real, man. That shit be for fame and money. A lot of people do that shit to get fame and money. You know, their rap skills are not that up or they can't make a hit record. So the second object in rap is these days is go at another rap. Mm. That's just how it is. They don't be doing that because they, they hate each They be doing that shit to get money and get people fame and, and snatch people fame. Mm. When there's enough money to go around, there's no need for war. But Back. being overshadowed and playing the number two slot means taking the back seat and never becoming more famous than the artist ahead of you. So the number two artist's main objective is to smash any competition in the way. Unfortunately, BR's rap competitiveness and street beef is intertwined, so you can't have one without the other. Which started out as a friendship blossomed into a beef that took one rapper's yeah. life and made another famous. What the fuck? You two letting people post shit like this? Before the mid-1990s, Baton Rouge was mostly known for Southern University and being the capital of Louisiana, but today it's the murder capital and mostly known for the rap talent that flows out of it. Hip-hop and violence is a marriage for most Baton Rouge rappers. BR had nationwide streets watching in the late 1990s when Young Bleed dropped the classic hit single, How You Do That, from his gold-selling album, My Balls and My Word. <laughs> Nigga what? Nigga fuck nigga what? Uh -huh. Boosie hey. Badass, who in the year 2000 went by the name Lil Boosie, picked up the torch when he dropped his debut album titled Youngest of the Camp. Years later, he signed with Trill Entertainment, where he teamed up with Webby, and together they stamped Baton Rouge hip hop scene onto the national and international map. Okay. Who are proud of South? Me and my lagoon and my 38 revolver. Around the mid 2000s, Kevin Gates surfaced and was yeah, a major a bridge in the rappers. transitioning of BR's rap scene into the new era. The consistency of artist success coming from such a small town made it notable for talent scouting. All eyes on Baton Rouge, where the talent is growing daily. Let's get involved. <laughs> All these young rap niggas getting money. Hey, I'm getting money right with these niggas. I love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love it. I love what they call me. Boost. Oh, oh, man, get on something, man. That bitch should be done tonight. She. You gonna get that money. money. Uh -huh. Pull out money on me. Now I ain't talking paper, nigga. It started out as a friendship and love between the real G Money and NBA Youngboy. 
before the start of both their careers. G Money was out the gate first, growing as an artist and gaining the respect as the next biggest thing coming out of Baton Rouge. Being the oldest partner out of the two, G Money played the big brother role, and they were so close at one time as a youth, young boy lived with G Money and they even split a few bags between them. But somewhere in the midst of G Money's success, an NBA young boy positioning himself as BR's next big thing, a beef between the two started. What you on? What you on? Like me or something like fuck that rap shit? What you on? I'm saying like, what you, what you got some against me, bitch ass nigga? Say that damn man. Don't 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 be on Instagram with that pussy ass shit, nigga. We in two different states. You know the real. Stop. <laughs> what you say? Hot fucking nigga. I'm about beef and what it what real, bitch. Yeah, man. I don't wanna fuck with you, nigga. Fuck on you, man. That nigga. I, I, I don't like you. I'm gonna keep on it. I don't like you. Say, Leon, you know you ain't living like that, man. You get a deal and you done turn to a killer. When you start doing all that, man. You know you ain't cut like that, man. You know TBG been your muscle, boy. And the same nigga you talking about usually, usually don't live in, in jail, wherever they at, man. That's the same nigga ran you out of Nouveau in the city, man. Yeah, you remember Will? Yeah, Will's out there. And yeah, you remember you ran out that stove, man. You know what's happening with us, man. You hear me? Real shit. When y'all catch me, kill me. Do what you do. I ain't worried about no nigga. All niggas do is run their mouth, my nigga. Oh, he bitch. was getting money yeah, more. Oh, he had a deal. Oh, he, oh, he popped. Yo, he popped yeah, before then. Yeah, that's like a nigga without ever being his life. Yeah. Fuck, no, fuck you. Fuck I'm looking at his money and shit on his neck How is that real? How is that real? Hatred. That's not hatred, man. They don't, that's not hatred. They was just doing that shit for money. Mm. <laughs> and when it died down and the money stopped, when they stopped making money out the shit, they say, fuck it, we might as well become friends. And, and make people talk about it again and increase some more money. Wow, Spoken like a true OG, but in this case it was real. There was never a clear understanding of how the beef between the two got started, but we know it spiraled out of control quickly. Some say it started because G Money slept with Young Boy's sister and bragged about it in songs. Then you did some foul shit and had sex with my sister. Then threw it in my face in front of people on Insta. Some say Young Boy was jealous of G Money's success, and the only way to come from under his shadow was to go after his title of next to pop in Baton Rouge. And I'm living out shit, you hear me? Everything you got with a deal, I got this shit without a deal, man. You hear me? You know, 30 plus on my neck with no deal, nigga. Yeah, for real. Driving a hundred thousand dollar coupes and shit, man. Yeah, with no deal, boy. You better stop playing and stay in your place, son. Fame is an addiction, and just like a junkie, they'll do anything to get more. The threats between the two were becoming more promising as the verbal war continued until... Baton Rouge police are looking into a deadly shooting that claimed the life of a local rapper. Police say someone shot and killed 22-year-old old Garrick Burton on Dallas mm, Street around 120 22. last night. Burton performed under the, under the name G Money. Right now, police have not named any suspects or motive. If you can help police or have any tips, you can report wow. them anonymously to Crime Stoppers. For some reason, I have visions of someone spitting my wig. God, please forgive me for all the things that I did. After the death of the real G Money, Never Broke Again Young Boy became Baton Rouge's next big movement. If Lil Boosie is the king of BR, then Young Boy is the prince. Although the city is still flourishing with talented artists, no one else measured up to the competition that G Money displayed with his movement. Young Boy and a couple of Baton Rouge rappers were arrested and or questioned about the murder due to rap beef and verbal shots thrown between them and G Money. But in the end, nothing stuck, so his murder is still unsolved. Okay. Just like Scarface, the world was NBA young boys, and he would soon have it delivered to him on a diamond platter, but not before he would endure some humiliation and a few setbacks. He had been arrested in a couple of different states on a couple of different charges, including a violent altercation he had with his girlfriend in a hotel. Oh, shit! In early 2018, we saw a lot of NBA Youngboy and Birdman together in Youngboy's music videos, so it was easily assumed that he signed with Cash Money Records. But after research, it wasn't clear if that was true. Regardless, NBA Youngboy has evolved into an industry player, and the door is now wide open for the next biggest thing coming out of Baton Rouge. Everybody can't be the boss. You know, I'm the boss because I, 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 played, I played every role to be the boss. Played every role you can think of. I started off when I was 10 years old. My first job was a lookout. I was a lookout for the drug dealers on the corner. They used to pay me $25 a day. 
to ride up and down the street on my bicycle and holler when the police come. So I done played every part of, of the game, man. I done played 10th in yeah, charge, 7th in charge, 5th in charge, 3rd in charge, 2nd in charge, and I'm the boss, man. So I, I done played every part. You can't skip up the road if you want to be a real boss. You know? mm. That's what people need to, need to understand. Everybody can't be chief. You got to have some Indians, man. Rest in peace, man. That just opened my head. Make sure y'all subscribe for more, man, and turn on them post notifications. We love y'all, though, man. Um, that opened my head to a lot. So they trying to stand. That was crazy. Damn, they was friends. They were friends. It makes sense now. So, so NBA young boy popped off before him, popped off before while he while he was big at that time because he had a deal, but. I guess they're trying to say that NBA Youngboy really didn't shot get his shine until he really died. So y'all trying to yeah yeah that and um and fucking damn yo it's a lot of people that come out of fucking Louisiana. Yeah, motherfuckers killed to get this spot. Oh, they don't yeah. play, man. That rap shit real. That boy died at twenty two, man. Ray, you rest in peace, man. I think it was after the studio session at one o'clock in the morning. And he had a kid too. Wow, twenty two. He had, you know, he had, he had a kid, and his girlfriend at the time was having his kid. Y'all heard what they said? That shit is an addiction. They was doing. He said, yeah, they, they said at first they was doing it like they thought kids. they was doing it for money. People thought they was doing it for money, and all that. I think Boosie said that. They yeah, are. they said it was doing it for money, and then they got real like. When they ain't got no money. Yeah, but he said he ain't, he, uh, I mean, young boy said he ain't like him, but they were friends though. That's crazy. Of course they, I mean, they, but also. It's like, who got to, who got to eat, who got to take over. And they don't have to be with jealousy or money. Nah, I think, I think, I'm um, not trying. That's not always the case. Just because the guy was more, I don't think. I think, I think, you know, I turned to beef because it's. And young, NBA young boy got a deal and blew up. That's crazy. That, I, no, that they he said he was blow, a, he blew he went up, but he was still not higher than the guy until he died. That's when he blew up. Yeah, like which one do y'all think is better? Well, never mind. We never listen to him like we that. Get, we get a whole bunch of views off of NBA young boy. So obviously that nigga is taking over though. He's definitely taking over. He not. But like y'all don't yo. get scared when y'all like rappers and then like y'all got a whole like a whole bunch of people around you on stage. Like how you know that none of these motherfuckers gonna kill you? Like how do you oh, know? Oh man, that shit crazy. To like be a gangster, like how do you know that these people are not plotting against you right along with those? Cause you people? gotta you gotta feed. Gotta feed everybody, man. Yo, that no, shit real. Let still, us know though. That's still jealousy. That's what they're trying to say about NBA Young Boy. He was like the big brother. He was feeding him. There's always gonna be somebody who gets who's greedy. Yeah. And try to take over. I hope he didn't do that. But damn, I forgot when he I thought he dragged um her, but nah, that he nigga threw, threw her. her. Damn. That shit was mouth dropping. Scary. Eye open. Eye opening. All right. <laughs> we love y'all though, man. Like, comment, subscribe. I like this. What? This reminds me of like. I like the series. Um, the T T T R L. Is that when they used to do? That's what it sound like behind too. The life. Behind the life. Yeah, that's what it sound like. like that shout out to the, yo. We're gonna definitely put life. the description to the the original link to the video. And shout out to the person that did that. Took the time to create that and do the commentary in and all that. That shit was dope. Nice. Yeah, it was really good, man. It was well edited and put together. It would have been if. Well, I don't know about the other ones, but is there? A NBA in the interview or no? Let us know. Well, we got part two and part three to go. That's what y'all want us to do. We love y'all though. Like, comment, subscribe, man. And be patient, man. Let's see how this one go, man. Run it up. Peace, y'all.